What's up everybody, it is Brendan Kuchbach here and congratulations, congratulations to everybody because you know what, we are getting $1,200 in stimulus checks. Yep, you heard that right, I'm sure that everyone has already heard it before, but the US government has decided to give you and me $1,200 because this illness has taken the world by storm and had a drastic impact on the economy. However, there's a hidden cost to that money that most people don't know about. So, this is a lot of money and I'm telling you right now, almost Everybody is going to waste it. They're going to go out and they're going to spend it. They're going to blow it, which is great for stimulating the economy. That's sort of the point. But people don't realize how we're losing money. And I know what you're thinking. What? How are we losing money? Like, the government is literally giving me money. So, um, that's addition. I'm, my bank account is growing. How am I losing money? It's because of inflation. And so many people don't understand what inflation is all about. So, inflation just means that your money is becoming worth less because this this $2 trillion that they're printing for these stimulus checks, the grants that they're giving small businesses, the big corporation bailouts, that money has not appeared out of thin air. They're printing it. And by printing it, that lowers the value of the dollar because the dollar is only worth a dollar because the government says it's worth a dollar. There's nothing that makes that dollar really worth anything besides the government just saying, hey, this is worth a dollar. People don't realize the huge hidden, hold on. People don't understand what inflation is and where inflation is coming from for this specific piece. So, why is there inflation taking place now? Well, that $2 trillion that's part of the CARES Act, which includes your stimulus checks, did not just come from thin air. The US government is printing all of that money. And the more money that you have, the less that it's worth. Think of it like this. I drive a kick-ass Hyundai Veloster. I love that car right? But that car is only worth $9,000. But if there's only five of those cars in existence in the entire world, it would not be worth $9,000. It would be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, simply because it is rare. That's literally the thing that drives the same price of gold. The reason why gold is so valuable is because it is rare. It's the same exact concept with money. And by printing more money, we're going to have a huge inflation rate. Typically in the United States, inflation is about 2%. So just to reiterate that so that way you guys fully understand. If you walk into a store and buy a pack of gum today for a dollar, next year, if the average inflation rate of 2% hits, next year that pack of gum will not cost a dollar, it'll cost a dollar and two cents. And the reason why it costs a dollar and two cents is because the government would have, or the store would have to raise the price by 2% to match the cost of inflation. Inflation is the reason why you hear stories of your grandma telling you how gas was 50 cents or a loaf of bread was 10 cents or a nickel. The reason why people were able to buy houses in the suburbs for $10,000 back in uh, like the 1950s. But over time, the value of the dollar has become worth less and less and less and less. So now you need more money and you have to make more money in order to buy the same things. So as we're going to be in a year to where the inflation rate is definitely going to be north of 2%, the normal average for the United States, what are things that we can do to protect ourselves from this inflation? The answer to that is relatively quite simple. It's just you need to invest your money into something that actually has a decent return for a low to moderate risk. So typically what I like to do is I made a video on this in the past, I'll link that in the description. I like to follow the all weather portfolio where I invest my money in the markets and as well as in government debt. So I go through Vanguard and I have a Roth IRA and I put 30% of that portfolio into a fund that follows the S&P 500. I put 40% into long-term treasury notes. I put 15% into intermediate treasury notes, 7.5% into gold, and 7.5% into commodities. And it has averaged about 10% over the last few decades. So that's what I like to do with the majority of my money. I like to protect it from inflation anyways. I'm not just doing this because of the illness that is taking the world by storm. I'm doing this because Inflation is always going to be something that's here in society. So what we have to do to help protect ourselves financially is whenever you get money, you have to do everything that you can to protect it against inflation. There's other things that you can do in addition to just investing your money. You can keep your money in high interest savings and checkings accounts, but for this year specifically, it's probably not gonna help all that much because like I said earlier, the US national average for inflation is about 2%. Well, there's a bank out there, I like it, it's called Redneck Bank. They're offering 1.75% on their checking and their savings account currently. So if the inflation rate's typically 2% and that's 1.75%, we're gonna be in a higher than normal inflationary year, you're still gonna lose money due to inflation. However, 
that would be better to have your money in an account that gives you 1.75% interest compared to Wells Fargo that gives you 0.01% interest. And the last thing that I want to talk with you guys about is I just want to get real with you. I understand that these are economically challenging times. People are losing their jobs, having to file for unemployment. I see that people are freaking out about their 401ks and they're just withdrawing all their money because they're seeing it tank. Um, but here's the thing. America goes through ups and downs with the economy. And we have ever since America has been in, in, in existence. So. It's important not to freak out. It's important just to protect your money from inflation because we always bounce back. We've survived the Great Depression, a few other recessions, two world wars, a bunch of other different wars, and we always tend to bounce back. And that's because the American economy is strong and because whenever these huge companies that we have, whenever they go into debt and we're in economic crisis, what does the government do? They print money and they bail them out. Now, however you feel about that is however you feel about that, but that keeps the companies going. And sure, that causes inflation, it makes your dollar worth less, but if you're proactive with your thinking and you start using your money to protect yourself against inflation, then this isn't something to worry about. So I highly advise you that you guys click the link in the description below and watch a previous video of mine where I talk about the Roth IRA more in depth and how you can protect yourself and how you can grow your money on average of 10% every single year. So thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, this is in opportunistic times. There are more millionaires made in times of recession than there are in times when the economy is doing great because now everything is on sale, everything from real estate to stock. So this is an opportunistic time, not a dark time. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.